This video will discuss pressure volume work in closed systems. So let's say we have a closed system. So that's a system which uh, can exchange energy with the surroundings, but it does not exchange matter with the surroundings. Our system here is going to be a cylinder of gas. So over here in our diagram, we have this cylinder of gas in green. There's some physical barrier, which represents a partition between this gas cylinder and the external environment, which is the surroundings. So the system plus the surroundings is the entire universe. So the surroundings is everything that is not inside this gas cylinder. And what we're going to look at is during expansion and compression, <clears throat> what is the pressure volume work that the system does or is done on the system? All right, so pressure volume work is, is one of the most common types of work. It's the work we're going to look at the most in this chemical thermodynamics course. So let's look into what that is. So work, just in terms of physics, is defined as kind of the integral of force over displacement. So if we have a force acting on an object over a given uh, unit of displacement, then that is the total work that it does. So force typically measured in newtons and SI units, displacement in meters, it is a distance, so newtons times meters is joules. Work is a unit of energy. All right, so what is the force that's acting on this gas? So let's suppose we have some mass of mass M, <clears throat> which is sitting on top of this barrier, and this generates some force due to gravity, which is pushing down on the barrier on this gas cylinder. So the force that's acting on there is the force of gravity due to the mass of, of this uh, particular uh, weight that's sitting on top of the cylinder. So that's negative mass times the gravitational constant minus mg. And the displacement is from some initial height to some final height. So the displacement is the final height minus the initial height. Uh, during expansion, this would be some positive number, I believe, and during compression, this would be some negative number. All right, so it's HF minus HI. All right, we can refactor this where we divide the force by area and we multiply the displacement by area. So we have minus MG over A and then A times delta H. So force divided by area, that is a unit of pressure. So newtons divided by meters squared is a pascal of pressure, the SI unit of pressure. So this is the negative external pressure acting on this gas cylinder. And then similarly, the, the cross-sectional area of this barrier times the displacement of it, that's the change in volume of the system. Area times height is volume. Meters squared times meters gives us meters cubed, the SI unit of volume. So the total work that's done by the system is the negative external pressure times the change in volume of the system. So if the external pressure is constant during the entire expansion or compression event, then we get this type of expression. The work is equal to the negative external pressure times the change in volume. But typically, the force is not going to be constant. It's usually not going to be as a result of a mass sitting on top of a barrier. Usually, it's going to be some external environment, which is another gas, which is exerting pressure on the barrier. So oftentimes, the pressure is not going to be constant, but it'll vary. So then we have the following expression. We have that the work is going to equal the negative integral from the initial volume to the final volume of the pressure, which is now a function of volume, integrated with respect to volume. So whenever we have expansion, as I said, the final height is greater than the initial height. So the change in volume is going to be greater than zero during expansion. And thus, the total work that's going to be uh, done is negative. So the system does work on the surroundings, and it gives that energy to the surroundings. And alternatively, during compression, going from the right to the left, our final height is lower than our initial height, so the change in volume is negative, and as a result, this work integral is going to be positive. So the, the surroundings does work on the system to compress it, and it gives energy to the system, that no thus the work that's done is greater than zero. So note here that for work, we're always taking things from the perspective of the system. Is work done on the system, or does the system do work on the surroundings? 
So that's the basics of pressure volume work. It all depends on what the external pressure is as a function of volume and how much that volume change is from our initial to our final state.